I bet you clicked on this video because you want to see if TikTok is really for your business, maybe for your specific niche. Maybe you're a little TikTok curious, but you're just not seeing how the pieces come together. In today's video, I'm going to look at different businesses on TikTok, 10 to be exact, by different niches to show you how other business owners like yourself are using TikTok today to grow their business for free on social media. I'm a visual learner and I bet you are too. So today is going to be a fun video on examples. We want to see proof of how people are using TikTok to grow their business. That's why I'm going to walk you through 10 different niches on TikTok, including art, beauty, finance, handmade goods, health, interior design, relationships, real estate, spirituality, and travel. If you see your niche there, keep watching. And stay tuned until the end where I'm gonna share how you can get an entire vault of ideas all based on these 10 niches so that you never have to think about what to post on TikTok again. What I'm about to share with you has worked for my student, Kathleen, who has brought some major visibility to her business from TikTok and Monica, who actually first discovered me on TikTok, which is amazing because I have content all over YouTube and Instagram and Google, but this just goes to show that your customers can discover you for the very first time on TikTok. I'm Elise Dharma and I've helped thousands of entrepreneurs, freelancers, and creators like yourself use social media to actually grow their business. I'm talking dollars. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you 10 niche examples to show you how other businesses are killing it on TikTok. All right, let's start with the art niche. And I found this account, Annette underscore love art, who is a painter. So just scrolling through, you can see that showing behind the scenes, showing the process of how she creates her art is really, really powerful. There's something so very alluring about seeing a blank canvas and watching the process of how we turn this canvas into a beautiful piece of art. So if you're in the art niche, I really recommend for you to really capture the behind the scenes and the process of how something is created. Jesse Lane Art is another example we found, and you can see like as an artist, the second most recent video is two and a half million views. And this is a close up of how he adds texture to his drawings. So that is pretty next level. You can see that this is a TikTok that people might want to watch over and over again to see like, what exactly was this? Um, so a really great, great video to sh again, show behind the scenes and how he actually does something. So very cool account. You can see, I can't even scroll that far down. So he hasn't created that many videos, but I can see that the videos he has created are doing really well. This one also has 2.3 million views. So well done, Jesse. So if you're looking at these examples and wondering, well, what can I do? Well, if you don't do behind the scenes, here's a prompt for you. How about your TikTok shares what the difference is between abstract art versus realism? Let's look at the beauty niche. So we found this account by Iris and you can see that there are lots of beauty tips like this. Here's another one when you forget to put on primer. So why this account is doing well, I think, is really good quality recordings and also a lot of um, humor and personality are shared in the videos. If you're in the beauty niche and you're looking for an idea of what to post, here's a prompt for you. Five must-have beauty products that all cost under $15. Next, let's look at the finance niche. So we found this account, Daily Stock Talk. And if you take a look at some of the videos, like let's look at this one right here. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
You can see with these videos, there are a lot of headlines. There's a lot of text in the videos so that we can see at a glance what the topics are on. And of course, humor is used with the audio as well. So if you're in the finance niche, here's a prompt for you. What is an emergency fund and how much do you need in it? If you're in the handmade goods niche, here's an example account by Rose Renewal. So she makes jewelry by hand. So let's take a look at some of the TikToks. Tell me, how is your life as a youngster? Ruthless. My style is a juvenile. Ran with a gang. Slanged in the meanwhile. Banking. I okay, so definitely sharing a lot of products. Now, this one looks interesting. Restocking Should announcement. I try to get it down? Boy, you fill my head with pieces of a we also found Marley Makes Things, a hand lettering artist. So let's look at some of her TikToks. Here's a little sneak peek at how I create my custom hand lettered window murals. So after I'm approached by the client, I start sketching and procreate. For this particular job, I'm working on two six foot by six foot windows. So I'm creating two four foot by four foot designs. I like to draw the sketches right next. All right, so really good process type of okay, this is TikTok. Of my lettering with oh, cool! Another so good behind the scenes. I'm just using my iPhone to shoot, and then I'm also using these lights that I bought. Off. So if you're in this niche, what I'm seeing is definitely videos that share your products, announcements like restocking, materials, sizing, all of those are worthwhile TikTok video topics. So if you're in this niche, here is a prompt for you. Go ahead and screenshot a question that you got about one of your products and then use the green screen effect to answer the question with the question right behind you. Let's look at the health niche and we found one great vegan. So let's take a look at some of the popular TikToks. Buffalo wing tacos with lime crema cream. Buffalo wing tacos, each bite is a dream. Buffalo. Lots of personality and fun. It looks like she even made her own song there, which is cool. Let's see what else. It's National Burger Day, National, National Burger, Burger Day. Day. First things first, toast up that bagel nice and crispy. Saute down some red onions, some mushrooms, salt and pepper, baby. And then my loves are gonna get your Beyond Meat Burger. And then take a moment for a little sippy sip. And then my loves, add on your Cajun seasoning for some spice, some provolone cheese slices, melt her down nice and beautiful. And then build up your burger with some fresh lettuce, your cheese covered burger, some soy free vegan A's. I love the music, so much personality and really using TikTok as a musical platform. So you don't have to sing per se, but this just goes to show with this account, how much personality you can bring even to your demos. So if you're in the health niche, here is a prompt for you. How I prepare five healthy lunches for the entire week. Let's talk about the interior design niche. So we found Alina's account at Dress Your Decor. So let's take a look at some of her TikToks. So she's showing how fast she makes her bed and of course her bed looks beautiful, but that one has over 300,000 views. Let's look at this one. When styling your entryway, make sure it's a mini trailer for what is yet to come in the rest of your home. Start off with some beautiful flowers because flowers add softness and an inviting feel for anyone entering your so that TikTok's great because it looks like she compiled clips and then added her voiceover after the fact. And if you wanna know how to do that, go ahead and check out this video right here. What I love about Alina's feed is there are so many tips. There's a lot of before and afters, and she also has somewhat of a consistent aesthetic with the look of her feed, which makes sense since she's in interior design. So if you're in the interior design niche as well, here is a prompt for your next TikTok video how to perfectly style a coffee table. Let's look at the relationship niche and we found the account by the Richies, also known as Richies Coaching. So let's take a look at some of their TikToks. 
Babe, tell them about our three levels. Three levels. The first level is at three, you only do things for your pleasure only. You don't care about your partner. You only do it for you. The next level is six. And you do things because you want something in return. Like, I'm going to go get my wife flowers. Are you ready to hear our nine relationship essentials? The first one is passion. The second one is commitment. The third one is security. The fourth one is trust. The fifth one is the most important one, intimacy. The sixth one is spirituality. The seventh one is mutual vision. And the eighth one is playfulness. And the final one is sacrifice. Interesting vibe. Like you can really see that they're showing up as an authentic couple. It doesn't look like they're being performative at all for the camera. It seems like real snippets of real life, even though they're a couple and they're coaches. So really interesting approach for the relationship niche. If you're in this niche, go ahead and use this prompt for your next TikTok video. Three mistakes people often make when they're trying to say, I'm sorry. Let's look at the real estate niche and we found an account called Sol Solerno, Solerno Real Estate, apologies for butchering it. And this is a real estate agent with 47,000 followers. And let's take a look at some of the TikToks. What do you think about this three plus one bedroom, two bathroom townhouse directly across the street from the new Vaughn subway for $2,950 a month in rent? This unit is fully upgraded. In That's a great look at behind the scenes. Do you ever wonder what luxury condo living in Vaughn looks like? Well, here it is for $888,000. This video is for all of my real estate friends and people in sales in general. So if you're not, keep scrolling. Okay, good. Now that they're gone. Guys, if you go to my videos, you see a lot of people hating saying, oh, why is he posting real estate on TikTok? No one's going to call him. It doesn't make any sense. Guys, in the last 24 hours, I got four leads from TikTok. People calling my office saying, I saw your videos on TikTok, sending me direct messages on Instagram. It works. Stop being. I love that video. He's explaining to his audience that social media marketing works even for real estate agents. So if you're in this niche, I recommend to find this account because this looks like a really good resource, especially for ideas that are working for a Toronto based realtor. So if you're in the real estate niche, here is a prompt for you, how to identify an overpriced property in our market. Let's look at the spirituality niche. And so we found an account run by Dion and the user is DT Priestess. So let's look at some of her TikToks. Oh, you magical being. I am so sorry for all of the ways that you are agonizing right now. And I just want you to know that I'm here and I'm sending you love. I like it. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but you're getting her energy. You're getting her vibe. Let's see if she has any other tip based videos. Darling heart, listen to your magical auntie here. I know you've experienced a lot of trauma and it's hard for you to accept the goodness that people see in you. Trauma has a way of locking us into this cycle of shame and we see it for so long that we have a hard time seeing beyond it. But I'm here to tell you that you are magical and I'm going to keep telling you that until you believe it for yourself. Because Again, a fairly simple talking head type of video with music and it now has over 200,000 views. What I like about this feed is there's really a consistent branding and it looks like it's probably the green screen effect or it actually might be a hanging physical blanket behind her. So I really like this consistency because people get used to seeing her style of video in their feed, almost like Instagram where aesthetic was once really, really important. So I like that she's going with this and it seems to really be working for her. So if you're in the spirituality niche as well, here is a prompt for you to make your next TikTok video, how to know which spiritual gifts you have. Last but not least, let's look at the travel niche. So we found Christina Kors account, which is named Travel Hacks. And let's look at some of her TikToks.
Okay, this is the most mind-blowing travel job I've ever heard of. Okay, this article was posted in 2017. Shout out to the points guy. However, just to know it exists is pretty cool and who knows, Cancun might do it again. So apparently, Cancun.com, the tourism website- Okay, so good tip video. Oh, this one has 1.3 million views. Destinations that will basically pay you to visit once the pandemic is over. Sicily, Italy. Sicily announced that they are planning- This one has 7.2 million. Destinations that will basically pay you to visit once the pandemic is over. Cancun, Mexico. Go. Cancun announced that they are planning to cover two free nights of accommodation for every two nights. That video was literally posted six days ago and has over 7 million views. So you can see she's sticking with that theme because it's clearly working for her. And I bet she's grown to 100,000 followers just recently because these videos have gone viral. So I really like the headlines that she's using. It's making it easy for me to skim through and look at the tips she's giving. And plus I see that she's already given successful tips. So I'm more inclined to watch her other tip videos. So really well done job, Christina. So if you're in the travel niche, here is a prompt for you to use to make your next TikTok video the two best websites to find travel deals and discounts. All right, there you have it. 10 niches on TikTok and how people like yourself are absolutely killing it. Now, if you want an entire vault of TikTok ideas, go to tiktokvault.co for 300 ideas, all categorized by what you offer, whether it's coaching services or products. And there you will also see a chance to get 200 ideas that are specific to niches, just like what I covered today. To ease and revenue, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for joining me for today's video. I hope you found inspiration from the 10 niches that I shared. Now, if you like this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any future trainings like this one.